Hey guys, so I'm going to start doing this new thing on this channel which is called Reading Roundup and it's basically a review of the last month in book related terms. So it's kind of what I read, uh, what videos I made, things I'm looking forward to reading. So I'll ask maybe for suggestions for reading, just book related stuff um, that I'll just kind of put at the end of the month that I can put in one video, ask you guys questions, maybe have a discussion. Yeah! With that being said, let's get started. First, I'm going to tell you guys what I read this month, and I read four books this month. Um, one I started last month and just finished this month. First thing I read was The Treachery of Beautiful Things, and there will be a review to that either before this or after this. It's... It, I don't know why I haven't put it up. I've had it ready to post for a while. Anyway, second thing I read is Tiger Lily by Jodi Lynn Anderson. This is another that I was planning on doing a review for, and I'm actually going to film it today after this video, so I will have a review for that up soon, so I'm not going to spoil it. Um, another one I'm going to review, because I just finished last night, is Ripper by Stefan Petrusha. Um, gonna review it. Not sure how I felt about it as a whole, um, but, you know, gonna review it. And this one I'm not gonna do a review for because I half read it last month and half read it this month, so it's not all fresh enough for me. This is The Vesuvius Club by Mark Gaddis, and it was really funny. It had that dry humor that you come to expect from Mark Gaddis if you watch any of the shows he's produced or things like that, or produced, written in, or produced. Um, yeah, dry humor, very funny, but ultimately I don't think he really cared about the, the mystery a whole lot or about the characters. I think this is more about reading it as an experience, a funny experience, than the story. So I probably won't finish the series, but um, if you're into that kind of dry humor and also flapsticky, things like that. So it was a great, great imagery, not the best book in the world. Next, I'd also say that coming out in the next few weeks is going to be my review of The Hobbit and An Unexpected Journey. I know it's taken ages, but I've seen the film four times now, and I think I have everything I want to say in my mind. So um, that's going to be on the way. I'm going to film that very soon as well. I started blogging again, and that's on my blog, which is kayleyhigh.com, www.kayleyhigh.com, and a lot of it is, has been book related as of late. I also have a list of the books I intend to read, uh, books I am reading. If you don't follow me on Goodreads, that's another thing I have. Um, so yeah, I've been using all of my sites a bit more, I think, so far, especially reading related ones, because I've been doing quite a bit of reading. Next is, about a month ago, I went to an event called Beauty and the Brain, and it was a really cool event, kind of a YouTube beauty guru type event, and afterwards I got an email from the company that organized the event, and they were talking about their company called uh, U-Star Books, and I'll link to it down below. Basically they asked me if I'd be interested in any of the books, and at first I was apprehensive because what was I going to do with a book where I star in it? That's kind of a weird thing to get for yourself. But then I remembered that my flatmate, Sana, or Books and Quills, has a birthday coming up, or had one. So I got her Pride and Prejudice, and in it I made her the star, I made her Elizabeth Bennet, and I made Robert Pattinson Darcy, and, you know, uh, filled in a few of the characters. I'll insert a clip of it here because I gave it to her, so I have to um, steal it from her to film it a bit. But I think she really liked it. It was a good funny gift, and also I just think it's a great gift idea, so if you guys are interested in that, I will link the site down below. Um, yeah, it's just really funny because we were sitting around at tea kind of reading passages out from it, and it was good fun. The final thing I have for you guys is a book haul of sorts, a tiny little haul, and it is just these two books. I got The Man in, a, in the High Castle by Philip Dick, Philip K. Dick. Um, this is apparently his best book, and he's written a lot of books, so that's saying something. This is a dystopian novel from, I think it was written in the 60s, and it's If the Allies Had Not Won the War. And, um, yeah, they lost the Second World War, and Nazis have taken over America and everything, so this sounds really amazing. I read a book last year called Resistance by Owen Shears, which is a similar premise, so I'm really into the idea of um, if the Allies hadn't won the war, so I'm really excited to read this. It's not too long of a read, might make that my next read. And I got Jack the Ripper, The Whitechapel Murderer by Terry Lynch. This is not the best um, reviewed book of Jack the Ripper history, but it was really concise when I was flipping through it, and also it was $2.99, so I figured I'd go for this and then um, do more research to get the book I actually really want. But also, let this leads me on to my final question, which is, do you guys have any suggestions for Ripper-related literature? I've been really into it. I watched Whitechapel, the series, the television series, and it was amazing, and um, I also read Ripper by Stephen Patricia, so I'm just really into Ripper-related stuff right now, which sounds really creepy. But if you have any suggestions for Ripper-related stuff, nonfiction, fiction, um, 
fiction would actually be really good because I think I know what non-fiction books I'm going to be getting on the subject. Anyway, that is all. Oh, one last thing is I'm reading Every Day by David, Le David Levithan. Really good so far. Very short. Um, I'm very not far in, but I really like it so far. I love his writing. So I'm excited to keep reading this. And that is all for the first month of January Reading Roundup. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if there's more things you'd like me to talk about in the future. I might talk about releases I'm excited for in the coming month. That kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a great uh, day or whatever. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye!